the hip airplane, really fantastic hip control drill. We start to explore 360 degrees of motion and we start to then really challenge the hip in lots of different angles. So what, the way this one works, we get up into a single leg RDL or hip hinge position. And then as we're down here with the square hip position, we now wanna try and control, open up, full body, not just the hips. We wanna to start to integrate torso and then angle back down and come into a little bit more internal rotation and compression on that hip. And then think about the hip contracting to get us back out of there. So we can go for reps up and down or we can stay down the bottom. And we think about an airplane banking coming back, controlling, all from that hip control muscle doing its job. So again, up into here, come through with a square hip position, open up that control, sink back down with good control, correct back out of that position, and we can stay down there if we want and go for reps. or we can come back up, hit that run position and dive back in. So you'll notice the muscles on the foot are working really hard to try and stabilize. So it's a great full single leg stability drill. If we're struggling big time there, we can hold on to, we can hold on to something sturdy in our hand if we're struggling down there. So in this position, have it stable. If we need something even more stable, hold on to a bench, pole, squat rack. From this position, same thing as we come down. Make sure we can feel where square is, keep our core integrated, and then we can start to play around with that rotation with a little bit of control here. Bank up, hip control, sink back down, hip control. And it's just like if we're standing on single leg controlling through these positions without asking our hip socket, that FAI, femoroacetabula, the ball and socket joint doing too much. The active restraints, muscles and central nervous system are really doing their job and giving us good control over that position.